Hi, I'm Brad Harrison with Audio Arts in Wheatstown with part three of our series on setting up on air tallies with the Audio Arts DMX. This time we're going to use the Navigator app to connect the tally that we turned on in part two to the hardware we set up in part one. The first thing we need to do is select our engine, which is called Master in the upper left corner. Now, when we set up the DMX surface, we already created a logic source, the tally. Now we just need a logic destination to represent the hardware. So we're going to come over to the Destinations tab and we'll click the Add button to create a new one. The destination we're creating is logic only, so in the lower half of the window we're going to select LIO, which stands for Logic Input Output Only. Now in the upper half of the window I'm going to select the name and type a new name for this destination. I'm going to call it Tally. Now we're going to move over to the LIO Info tab where we'll create the logic connection. Let's click the Add button to add a signal. We're going to select the hardware pin that we wired the hardware to, which is LIO1 pin 2. It's also important that on the right side of the screen we specify that this logic port will be an output, so we'll send a closure out from the engine to the relay box. One last thing. There's a pull down box marked function we're going to pull down and we're going to scroll down and at some point we're going to see a function called Studio 1 in use. That identifies this as a Studio 1 tally. Once we've selected the proper tally function, we can click Apply and make these settings permanent. Then click Close and leave this dialog. After quickly verifying in this window that everything is correct, we can then click Finish to that window as well. And as you can see here in the list of destination signals at the left side, we have one called Tally. It's been successfully created. Now we need a cross point window so that we can make the actual connection. Click on the System tab. We're going to scroll down under the destinations and we'll find Tally. That's the destination we just created. Then we'll scroll across the top of the sources and find DMX Tally, which is the signal coming from the control surface. Now all we've got to do is find the intersection point of that source and that destination, click once, and we've created a connection. Time for the moment of truth. Let's press the encoder at the top of the strip and we'll rotate it and find the mic one source. Press it again to make the assignment. Turn the channel on and off a few times and from the red LED on the front panel of the relay box it appears that everything is working perfectly. Just plug in your tally light and you're ready to go. I also want to take a moment to share a new relay box the good folks at Henry Engineering recently sent us. This new box called Superlight is for triggering the newest generation of LED studio tally lights. One cool aspect are the control input connections. Instead of Phoenix connectors on the Super Relay box, Superlight uses an RJ45 connector. Inside the box is a jumper matrix that allows you to set the connector to match the pinouts of our engine port exactly. This allows you to plug a straight Cat5 cable between our logic port and the Superlight box. The second RJ45 connector on the Superlight box is in parallel to the first one, allowing you to daisy chain control from one Superlight box to another. All the steps for creating the tally output for the Super Relay are identical for the Superlight. We hope you found these videos helpful. For more information, there's a wealth of information on our website www.wheatstone.com. Thank you again for watching.